When it comes to minerals, does the form matter? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the different forms of minerals and why, in my opinion, that really matters when it comes to absorption. So I wanna welcome you back. I'm Mike Mutzel, and you're tuning into myoscience.com. Full disclosure, I own this company, I own this business, and I've been in this space since 2006. I created this company to help people like you get access to really good raw materials that I was personally taking for myself, my family, and for my clients. So we're gonna talk about minerals. You know. There's a lot of different forms of magnesium. A lot of people, they wanna get magnesium to, to say help out with uh, periodic constipation or to improve their electrolyte balance. They might just go to Whole Foods or go on Amazon and buy magnesium citrate. Well, magnesium citrate, one thing you need to realize about why it's effective in the context of constipation is because it's very poorly absorbed. So when you take magnesium citrate, it basically ionizes uh, into magnesium and citric acid and that causes the, the, the kind of drawing in of water uh, the osmotic capacity of those ions, and it helps you to go number two, right? And so in one of our formulas, it's actually called number two, uh, has magnesium citrate in it for that specific reason. But presumably you're taking magnesium uh, maybe to help to improve your blood levels of magnesium and increase tissue concentrations of magnesium. So in that context, you'd want a different form like magnesium bisglycinate chelate. Let me back up. I know that's a big word. Let's just break it apart. Magnesium bis meaning to glycinate for glycine, chelate meaning everything's chelated. So our principal raw material supplier for all of myosciences uh, minerals is Albion. Albion has been in business, I think over 20 years, as long as I've been in this space since 2006, they've been around. And they are one of the world's leading suppliers of chelated minerals bound to amino acids. And so here's kind of how they get better absorption compared to say magnesium aspartate or just plain old magnesium glycinate or magnesium oxide, okay? Again, go back to the bisglycinate chelate. So you have magnesium, which has is Mg2+, so it's a positively charged mineral. And they're pairing that with two molecules of glycine. And so how their minerals are absorbed differently is they're absorbed through more so the amino acid receptors. So if you look at your small intestine, and you were to put little marks, little check marks on the proportion or the, the how many uh, mineral receptors you have. You might have, say, iron, for example, is really up on the proximal and, and, and top part of the duodenum, which is the first part of your small intestine. You have very few iron receptors there. And that's why a lot of people, especially women, are anemic. Uh, iron is very poorly absorbed. And if you take, say, iron sulfate or ferrous sulfate over the counter, you're probably not gonna get uh, increased tissue levels of your iron. Now that's where, and I'm using iron as an example, and then we can talk specifically more about zinc and magnesium. But if we think about uh, what Albion has been able to do is they have this ferrous bisglycinate chelate, which is, a set, it's called ferricol, is their iron. And it's iron bound to glycine. And they've shown even in, in neonates, individuals that are anemic and have really low iron status, they have multiple absorption studies showing that their a unique form to chelate minerals Im improves their bioavailability. So that's why we partner with them and that's why, for example, in our Opti Magnesium, you know, we have two different forms. We have the magnesium bisglycinate chelate and the magnesium bound to malic acid. Uh, same thing with the zinc, is a zinc absorb uh, zinc bound to glycine. And so what you're gonna notice on the back of our bottles is the uh, Albion in signature. And so this is gonna denote uh, that, that uh, the minerals are coming from Albion. So you're gonna see this little Trax, and it's called Trax is True uh, Amino Acid Chelating System. And so that means that these minerals are truly uh, chelated. Chelated just means bound together. And so that's kind of what makes things different um, in terms of like when you know people ask, well, Mike, why myoscience compared to Jara or, or, and I'm not, I don't want to pick on Jara. Why, compared to whatever, you know, uh, I can get at Whole Foods. Well, if I were to sell you magnesium citrate or magnesium oxide, the cost of materials is really like a fraction of what it cost me to develop these formulations. And therefore, I would have more profit margin. Um, and I'll, you know, I could theoretically make more money, but that's not really the goal. I want you to have better outcomes. Um, and so, yeah, you might pay a little bit more for these raw materials, but they're better absorbed. And so I just want you to be aware of that and kind of the differences and, and, and what to look for on the labels. So um, hopefully that helps you better understand the different forms. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of magnesium citrate. We do have that um, in our DIY electrolytes. 
because we wanted something just to really make it affordable. Uh, and you're not taking super physiologic levels of that. That's one or two capsules, 100 to 150 milligrams of magnesium. But I wouldn't recommend 500 milligrams or over 250 milligrams of magnesium in the form of magnesium citrate because it's just going to induce you know bowel movement or it will help to induce a bowel movement which again can be helpful in a certain situation where you're constipated after a five-day fast maybe but you don't want to do that day in day out because uh, that can cause its own malabsorptive issues so uh, hopefully that helps you better understand minerals i'll put links to albion below and some images so you have a better idea about uh, how their minerals are different and we'll catch you in a future video down the road